Let's get scratching. <laughs> Hey, ho, what do you know? We are back once again. Hitting you guys up with a little bit of Excadrill single prize madness. And I've been playing this deck a lot, like on stream and off stream, just trying to get the feel of it. This deck is like mad interesting. I have to say, this deck is based around discarding, pretty much milling yourself, right? This thing hits for 120 damage for one energy, which is a lot for a stage one Pokemon. The only downside is it discards the top four of your cards until you go all the way, all the way, all the way down to the last three cards of your deck, and then you hit him with the 11th hour tackle for 180 damage for one energy, which is pretty nice. Now, the question is, how do we mill ourselves and how do we prevent ourselves from decking out? Well, this, this deck is all about resource management let me tell you we have cinchinos to help us get through our deck faster and faster you want usually two to three of these on your bench just kind of chugging along turn after turn crushing hammer slow it on our opponents gotta have it research helps us just dig through our deck as fast as possible and then the, the whole mill four gets us to the bottom of our deck fairly quickly now the big trick to not milling yourself out is we do run two copies of Ordinary Rod. I did just open some Sword and Shield packs and I just randomly got a second Ordinary Rod. This is so sick. Yeah, I, I had like I had like seven extra Sword and Shield base packs lying around. I got a second Secret Ordinary Rod. Super happy about that. And a single copy of Brock Secret. And we do uh, accidentally mill cards we want to keep a drill bazooka so that's what the uh, pal pad is for where you at where's there's a buddy pal pad here it's just in case you accidentally mill brock's grid or something uh, or we need some bosses orders uh, we can get them back and uh we have a pretty good adp matchup too with vitality band and, and dojo uh 120 uh, and then if we uh, with Vitality Band and 130 and then we mill ourselves all the way down with 180 to, uh, Comes with 280 HP. It's perfect math And then we also have Tool Scrapper to help with some of the big charms. Very very nice um, Yeah, three copies of Marnie don't really use Marnie that often if there's a card I usually end up milling with Sanchinos it's probably Marnie unless I really need to put my opponent uh, uh, cards to the bottom of the deck, or it's the only support in my hand in the, in the start of the game. Otherwise, I'm probably trying to use research over Marnie, and then I'll just try and get the resources back later. Tons of ball search cards, four great ball for quick ball, standard, a two calm, great catcher to pick up those Dedenes. You have an amazing Pikaram, a Turnitus matchup. Like, they pretty much insta scoop every time they see you, without a shadow of a doubt. And you just have to run one Crobat, one Dedenne. You usually only need one of the two, you usually don't need both. But it's really, really hard to play a one prize deck right now without both. So, we do run that. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's the deck. This deck is sick. Now, this deck, I have to say, makes you think like just stop for a second and think about how do i what resources do i need to win the game and like how do i prevent myself from just throwing them away especially when you get this deck is very very impressive at just getting itself down to and keeping itself at three cards this deck pretty much auto loses to uh, opposing mill decks since you mill yourself so I, w I would probably just auto scoop those matchups. Now I did change the original list a little bit because sometimes you do start Sinchino and it can be a little bit difficult to get out of the active. So I went from one U-turn board to two, and I think I cut, I think I cut a Marnie for that if I'm not mistaken. I think I went from four Marnie to three Marnie for another U-turn board because I just didn't like, you know, getting stuck in the active. So, uh, yeah, that's the deck. Let's get right into some games. They go first. Yes, going first. Oh, this isn't bad. Evolution based deck. Get out the Sinchino as fast as we can. Yeah, this is actually not that bad. Uh, 
Don't need boss. Get rid of that. I was like, should I den Danny change here? I have Hammer in my hand. Hmm. If, if Hammer was like anything else, I would probably Danny change the hand. Big Charm. The Big Charm ADP has become very popular now. I need to find my Scrapper. Look for a stupid swell. Where does he play Guzma Hala? He play he doesn't play goggles, does he? Oh Radian, alright, so this is this is Radian ADP. Alright, that makes a little more sense. Oh he wouldn't Guzma Hala just for a swell. Marnie just really doesn't perform all that well in a deck like this. I would almost run 8 research if I could. Because it doesn't actually help you draw cards. Heads, please. Thank you. <laughs> Heads, please. Thank you. Need that, please hit. Uh, mm, okay, we'll get this. Actually, this is a pretty good time to do this. Again, I can I can use one two prizer in this matchup. I can't use two. I can use one. I make dude already? No. Okay. Make do the Marnie. Make do. Probably gonna need Dojo. Do the extra drill. Really want another driller, please. Thank you. Okay. We run away, and then we. Do I drop the? He's got Viridian, right? Do I drop the Dojo on him? Do I drop the Dojo on him right now? Hmm. To Dojo or not to Dojo? That is the question. Do 140. Drop the dojo on him. Because if for some reason I find my other vitality ban and scrapper, then I can just two hit KO him with uh, drill bazooka instead of having to like go all the way down to three cards, which I might not even be able to do next turn. Alright, so he attaches. That's pretty good. So he's gonna Dene change. I like how ADP gets the Dene change, but I don't get the Dene change. Or Crobat. You don't even have to think about it. Oh yeah, I need I can draw more cards. I'm gonna Crobat for six. But I'm just like I I literally have to think, alright, if I put this two prizer on the field, will I lose the game? <laughs> insane. I didn't discard Tool Scrapper in accident, did I? That's like the, the scariest thing with this deck is is using Drill Bazooka and hitting unrecoverable necessary cards. Like, I can't get back Tool Scrapper unless I put Lana's Fishing Rod in here and that's not gonna happen, right? So. Mallow and Lana.
turn to Mal and Lana. Insane. Not gonna. Did he manually? No. He's not gonna like AC me on top of that somehow, right? That would be absurd, right? He's already retreated once. Because he switched into the. Yeah, so it's not happening. So hopefully he attaches the water energy and I can hammer it again. Yeah, that Zacian is stuck in the active for now. <clears throat> no more dojo. I kind of need dojo. I need dojo to one shot a Zacian. So that's bad. Research. Hmm. Hammer. Go away. Actually, because because I don't need Dojo anymore, I'm gonna do this first so I can see more cards. And then I'm gonna. Rock Scrit and Chino. Energy. I don't know what's in here. Boss and research. <clears throat> so we put the boss rock scrit. Scrapper, that's huge. Okay. I could very easily go for like... I need to think very carefully. I think the correct play is the great catch of this up. I think that's the correct play. I think I do this. Get out another one of those. Won't need that. I can either great catch with the Dene and then go for like a boss, boss, boss. If he's, but that I would need him to drop a whatchamacallit, um, the Mawile, which he might not do. He can actively prevent me from doing that by. So I think the safest thing to do is this. Yes. Bring this up. Scrapper him now. What if he plays two? Does it matter? What if he plays two big charm? Does it matter if he plays two big charm? I don't think it does. I don't think it matters if he plays two big charm because he's already got 20 damage on him. And then need to do any of this stuff. No, we'll hold off on that. And then... Okay, what do we lose? Alright. We lost an Exodrill, a Hammer, an Energy, and something else. Okay, he did drop them all a while. So I could have gone... I could have easily gone for a boss, boss, boss gameplay. That's... That's fine. That's a hard, that's a tough call to make because there's no guarantee he drops the mall, mall, the mall well, right? It, there's a good chance he will because this deck plays a lot of bench Pokemon. So this Marnie is scary, but not for the reason that you think it is. Oh, he's actually stuck in the active. That's huge. 
It's actually huge. Let me think about this. Of all these cards. Do I even need hammer anymore? The whole purpose of hammer is to stop. I don't even, I don't need. Here's the thing. The whole point of hammer is to stop ADP and I'm about to knock out ADP. So I feel like discarding hammer is the right play. Especially if it like rolls heads. I hope I don't regret this decision. I'm gonna hold on to the vitality band just in case. I'm probably not gonna need it because yeah. See, we'll just play it. Okay, so he got stuck in the active. I don't know how. These decks run like a hundred switch cards. Yeah, Malamana, Berkey, like he had... Maybe he didn't have any more dig to switch. I don't really care that I'm benching Pokemon, because at this point, I one-shot this thing. So I don't really care that he, because I think he knocks me out no, he wouldn't, right? 1, 2, 3, 4 times 3 is 120, 130. It doesn't matter. Honestly, don't care that I'm over benching here. Because even if he gets this knockout, um, he hasn't AC'd yet. I one shot him. I think this is game. What is that? The opponent reveals their hand. Discard all supporter cards you find there. What the shit? Okay, is that? I have one more boss somewhere. I think Brock, Brock's grid is still in deck too, right? Yeah, so we're fine. If, if Brock's grit was in hand, I might have lost? Maybe? So I think we just win. I think my last boss is in deck. I don't know. I think it is. He knows I'm not gonna deck out too because I have one ride. I think this is checkmate. I think. Even if he had the switch, I still think we're in a great spot. Because I probably would have just bossed it back up. Did you just did you just rod the Mawile back in the back into the deck? You can stamp me to one. So this is another thing why this this is like Silvali vibes, right? Like even if he stamps me to one, I have three Sinchinos, right? Don't know if my last boss is in deck or not. It might be. Might be this one prize. Let's uh, take a look. That's Brock's grit. Okay, so my last, my last boss is prized. Last boss is prized. We're so far ahead. I feel like. All right, what do we need? We need we need one of these, and we have Brock's grit too. So it would almost just let's get two of these just to guarantee the evolution. Yes? I don't know, I'm scared. And then just two more energies. And then we'll research. And then we'll attach. 
and we will live with our tackle. So how many saucers does he even have left? He's got one saucer. So he can he can retreat into the mall while saucer attached. Well, okay, so he's not gonna be able to get an attack hot this turn because he only has one saucer. He can switch switch. How many switches? He's got one switch. So he can switch switch if he has another Mallow and Lana. But then I just knock out the active, so... I have another Ordinary Rod too. How did we... How did I get this late in the game without discarding at least one of my Ordinary Rods? Insane. Usually when I play this deck, I have to discard at least one Ordinary Rod. Energy switch? Insane. That's another thing I have to look out for, Marnie. You can deck me up with Marnie. Watch out for that. This guy is very annoying, by the way. Um, is there a Drillber in my deck? I don't think there is, right? So I think what I have to do is... I'm going to Brox Grit. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. And he concedes. There you go. Because he knows he can't keep up. ADP going. Yeah. Alright, this hand is kind of sus. Never mind, it's okay. Alright, let me think about this. Get rid of the boss and drill bear. Then pass. My opponent thinks I have a good deck. Apparently. This is an egg route deck. I played against egg route earlier and I did struggle a little bit. Because of the uh, the healing, I did struggle to get past the healing. Um, I wish I didn't discard that boss, but that's okay. Because against Eggral, if they put one Grookey down. And you like boss it in and knock it out. Not that I could do it anyway, because I only do 120 damage. But... Swell. That's annoying. Who the heck plays Guzma Hollow with Swell? Oh, he, he probably also plays the um, other thing, right? Yeah, the Grass Evolution Stadium, I'm sure. Did he prize his uh, Rillabooms? No. I was about to say, don't tell me he like prize both of his Rillabooms or something. Alright, get that out of here. Alright, drop that. So he does play- so this- this sucks, right? I know he plays Big Charm. Like, I know he plays Big Charm. That sucks. Uh, 
This is about to really suck when, um... If I don't get another... Guy here. Alright, so we're struggling. Yeah, we're like mad struggling. You two. <clears throat> yeah, we're looking. I'd say the games that you struggle with most are the games where you don't get to line up your basics. Do well. How did I get in this situation? Did you like? I could have sworn I had a better hand than this. Um. Silver. Horny. How many more researches do I have in the deck? None. Why do I have no more researches? Do my researches are prized? Fantastic. In that case, we got to leave that in the deck, and then we'll go get Minchino. We'll research now. that no escadrilles in the discard pile yet how many rods one rod is gone have to fail that <clears throat> Don't know if we can win this just because we had a really bad start. Go. Bosses. We have one more boss chilling somewhere. I could go like. Boss. Our hand is dead too. Yeah, I don't know about this one. We could, we could, we could boss up the Dedenne, take our prize cards. We could do that. <clears throat> oh, we could just hit him. And then boss next turn. Um, but my hand is dead. How many energies have I discarded? None. Alright, so here's what I think we do. I think we... I could go for like a boss, boss, knock out the active play. I think I do this. Just because... This thing could also get stuck in the active, by the way. I'm gonna hit the Dedenne. Just because I want, I want to see cards. I feel like maybe I hit something useful. Dojo, not useful. Research, very useful. Okay. <clears throat> so next turn, if I don't get Marnade, hint, hint, I can. Rod some excadrills and some energies back in the deck. I can hit this guy. Um. Yeah, I don't know. 
Oh, why, hello there. How are you doing? What's going on? Hold on, let me think here. Air balloon. <sighs> Dang it. Boy, I've already just started my scrapper, so at this point in the game, Mewtwo is easier for me to kill, but Mewtwo also knows that if he runs Aurora Energy, he's two Aurora Energy. Is this Buzzwool? Okay, so he knocks me out. Four prize cards apiece. Okay, so we hammer here every time. We, we're gonna research, so we drop the dojo here every time. And then we ordinary rod, we both. We get two Excadrills back, is that correct? that correct? How many rods are we down? Are we already down a rod? We're already down a rod. Brock Skrit's still somewhere around here. Still have Brock Skrit. This is only two. There could be more. So I think we get this back. Yes? Yes. And then we put two energy back in the deck. And then... Research. Go down to 12. And Chino's here. Box grit in hand. <clears throat> Found the Excadrill. Found this. I'd actually really like to hit a dude man here, yep. Ooh, but if I discard an X well, I have Brox Grit in hand, so it's fine. I have Brox Grit and Pal Pad, so it's fine. And then I haven't make dude yet. I can actually make do the pawn. I can actually make do the Brock's grit. I hope this isn't a mistake. Hammer. All right. Uh. I think I'm afraid of that one thing. So. Don't palped right now, because what can happen is we palped the Brox Grit back in the deck, and then we discard it with eleven out with eleventh hour tackle, which is very bad. So we don't make do yet. We let me see here. We hit with eleventh hour tackle. Yes, or drill bazooka. Yes, yes. We hit with drill bazooka. What do we what? What I hit? Research? Marnie? Sinchino? Alright, so I'm, I'm down all my Sinchinos. Three energy. I have two Escadrilles on deck. He's probably gonna run away. I can't, there's no way he can attach two Aurora energies in one turn. So I think he's gonna run away here. With some other Pokemon. So what do we need to win the game? We need two. We need two bosses orders to win this game. We have one somewhere. But we also probably need Brock Skrit. We need Brock Skrit to win this game. Is our last boss's order in the deck? Is he gonna hit me? No way he hits me. Wait, does he have a healing move? Oh, he has this evergreen thing. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, that's bad. That's why I needed...
Okay, let me think. So we palpad here every time. <clears throat> palpad. Ah, I don't know if my other boss is in the deck, bro. I think we pal. I think we Brock Grit. We have to Brock Grit. I think. We have to Brock Grit. I think we have to make do. Oh, but I don't have another drill, bird. Do we lose? Oh, he scoops. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me, guys. I don't know. I could have. I could have like. I could have like Brock's grit for some Pokemon. And but I didn't have another drill burst set up. Oh, he had three prize cards left. But I hit him with Dojo now. So I could have given him the run around. So it would have been close. Because I hit him, he can't really, he knocks me out, and then I need to set up two more drill burrs, and then he bosses up my Crobat, and I lose, so maybe if he has it, he could have whiffed, but that's how that game went. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Um, pretty good deck. I like playing it. It's like, it makes you really think about what you need and what you can discard, what you need to put back in the deck because you only have so much recovery. It's like, how do I get to three cards in my deck the fastest, and how do I stay there? It's a really, really cool deck. Um, go ahead, give it a try. Uh, deck list is gonna be in the description. If you want more, like, uh, if you want more draw cards, you can take out the U-turn board that I added, one of them, and you can put in a fourth Marnie. But I did take out a Marnie because I just found myself discarding Marnie with this deck a lot, honestly. Actually, you know what I really want to try? I want to try removing Marnie altogether and, like, getting Alistair or something. Some other, like, draw and discard card, I feel like. But anyway, that's going to be it. Really appreciate you guys watching this. Once again, I do stream on twitch.tv slash melamocha. Link's going to be in the description if you want to see some live gameplay. I'm actually playing this game on stream right now. So who knows? Maybe you're watching this for the second time. See you guys up later. Peace out.